Hello viewers, welcome to Ask Me In tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn what is the difference between save and insert methods. Save is nothing but a wrapper for insert as well as update methods. If you are not going to pass any ID to a save method, then it acts as an insert method. If you are going to pass an ID to a save method, it goes and sees whether the ID exists in the collection. If the ID exists, it will overwrite the document with a new data. Otherwise, it will go ahead and insert a new document. Whereas in the insert method, if you do not pass any ID to a insert method, it goes and creates a document and it also generates a ID field for that particular document with a unique identifier. If we do pass an ID to an insert method, what happens is, it will go ahead and see whether the ID exists in the collection. If it exists, it throws a duplicate key error. Otherwise, it will go ahead and create a new document in the collection table. So let's go ahead and see detail. So when I execute a save method without passing any ID, it will just go ahead and create a new document in the user collection table. Now if I pass a ID to a save method, it goes to a collection and see whether the ID exists. If the ID exists, it will overwrite the document. Otherwise, it will create a new document. Here, the ID does not exist. So, it is going to create a new document in the user collection. Now, when I type db.users.find, you can see that there are two documents in the user collection. Now, if I go ahead and try to save a new document with the same ID but a different field names, let's see what happens. So the ID is same, it already exists in my collection, but the field names are different. So this time what happens is, it will go ahead and overwrite the document with the new data. You can see that the output result is matched one and modified one. It didn't say inserted a document, it just says that modified a document. Now when I go ahead and run this db.users.find, you can see that the document has been overwritten with a new data. Now let's go ahead and take a look at insert method. So I'm going to create a test collection and I'm going to insert a document into a test collection. I'm passing an ID as well as name field. You can see that it has went and inserted a document. Now when I say db.test.find, you can see that there is one document which is inserted with ID1. Now when I go ahead and try to insert the same ID once again with the different field names, MongoDB will throw an error saying that duplicate key found. When I execute this command, it says that duplicate key error in the collection. So the insertion is failed. If I see db.test.find, it has actually not inserted anything. So this is the basic difference between save as well as an insert method. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe for this channel for more videos. Thank you. Have a good day.